All right, so this is finding the probability distributions mean and standard deviation using StatCrunch. Uh, surprisingly, I think the calculator is a little easier because you can't directly calculate in here. But um, if I click on this side right here, it opens, and this part's kind of nice. It puts my data in StatCrunch. So I need to kind of do some things. The first thing I, we did was to see if, if it was a probability distribution by adding this column. Um, anything that you want to do manual computations, you go to data, compute, and then I'm going to do an expression. I do the build instead of just typing it, but then I know there is a sum formula. I open a parentheses and I double click on the P of X and I close the parentheses. So if I would have known to put this in quotes, I could have just typed it. But now I say OK, compute, and it shows that it does equal one. All right, so then the next thing that I need to do is I want to actually um, come up with a column that is my X times my P of X. So again, I go to data, I go to, let me put this over here, go to data, go to compute, go to expression, go to build, and I want to do x times, oops, not that one, p of x. I say OK, I say compute. And it gives me this new column where it's multiplied my x times my p of x. If you remember to find the mean, now you just sum these values. So the random variable times probability, random variable times probability. Now you add all these up. So data, compute, expression. We already know we want to sum, but let's just put it in here. Sum. And I want to sum these x's times my probability of x, close my parentheses, OK, compute, and I get 1.05, which was rounded to 1.1. So that's what we got on the last video. All right, now I want to find my standard deviation. So I'm going to do an expression. I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to compute, expression, build, um, the big key is remembering what the formula looks like, and I showed it in the calculator video. You are taking the square root of the sum of each x value squared, so I did shift 6 to get the exponent part, times each probability, and I'm summing that, so I'm going to close that parentheses. I'm done with the sum then minus my mean, which I can just type in, squared, and then I close the parentheses for my square root. All right, so the square root of the sum of the x squares times the probability of x minus my mean squared. I say OK. I say compute. I get the 0 0.8, which is what we got here. So again, it's kind of a I think the only part that's, a easy, that's easier in StatCrunch is it puts your data in here and you don't have to manually put it in your calculator.